Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 12 and compare it against the iPhone SE 2022 model and see which particular phone is a better one for you. Now I will definitely tell you between both these devices, I like both these phones and there's not really one that's like better in every single area, but I think in a lot of ways the iPhone 12 is better, but there are still so many ways where the iPhone SE 3 is a better one probably for some people too. So we'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. If you want to pick up these particular phones or some other phones I'd recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of this particular phone, a big thing to keep in mind here is that both these phones are very different from their design language. So with the iPhone SE 12, so with the iPhone 12, this phone came out back in 2020. And on the front of this phone, you're getting a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. And I will definitely tell you, in my personal opinion, this is a very good type of phone to have. It's a very good panel. It looks very good. You're getting the notch up top, but you're getting Face ID. And I will definitely tell you in almost every single way, this is a phone that I look at and I'm like very, very happy and excited about this particular device. Is that a perfect phone? You know, with the iPhone 12, it's a 60 hertz panel. It's a pretty basic type of device when it comes down to it. But I look at a phone like that and I'm like very, very happy and excited with the way that particular phone has kind of aged the last couple of years and i think compared to the latest and greatest generation the iphone 12 actually holds up very very well right now with the iphone se 3 this phone came out in 2022 so it is you know newer than the iphone 12 so you're getting a phone that's like at least like two years newer than the iphone 12 but the thing going on with the iphone se 3 is that the design language of this phone is very very old it is a much older type of design language than you probably expect and that is kind of the problem that you're getting on this type of device like with the iphone se 3 this phone you're getting a home button on the front and you're getting a 4.7 inch ips panel it is a very older type of panel and like i said before that's just kind of what's going on when you're getting this type of device and i'm not the biggest fan of that right i'm not the fan of i'm not the biggest fan of the way this panel looks it's a touch id sensor like a basic one on the front but i will tell you in a lot of different ways getting a phone that's better right now is probably the better way to go so i will tell you in my personal opinion if you're getting a newer device definitely the iphone 12 even though it's older is going to make you feel like you're getting the newer phone when it comes down to it now you are getting lightning ports on the bottom of both these phones so no USB C here but still totally fine for the most part you're getting a flat side on the iphone 12 where you're getting this curved side on the iphone se 3 which is really cool on the back side glass backs on both which is very very nice to have i love having these glass backs and you are getting wireless charging on both too which is still very cool and once again that's another really nice thing going on here you're getting a dual camera setup on the back side of the iphone 12 single camera setup on the back side of the iphone se 3 the thing i will tell you is that there's a lot of reasons why both these phones can hold up well but in almost every single way i can imagine the iphone se 3 just isn't going to hold up that well compared to something like the iphone 12 and that's just kind of the way it goes on the exterior but what if i told you there are some other ways with the iphone se 3 does hold up better we'll talk about that in like literally like two minutes but right now the iphone 12 at least from the exterior side is definitely the winner here another big thing is definitely when it comes down to the whole entire i would say the whole entire body price standpoint the iphone se 3 and the iphone 12 are like roughly around the same price in the used market so you could probably swing for an iphone 12 to be a little bit cheaper same thing with the iphone se 3 so that's just kind of what ends up happening here for the most part but if you are wanting the cheaper phone even though the se 3 is still being sold in the brand new market for more expensive you could probably get it for cheaper than a used iphone 12 in some ways if not they're both probably going to be roughly around the same price in the used market so they're going to be like two to three hundred dollars for the most part so from that side again that kind of covers it up there for the most part as well now on top of that when it looks you know when it comes down to both these devices the iphone 12 on the back side is giving you a dual camera setup it's a wide and an ultra wide camera where the iphone se 3 is giving you a single wide angle camera now I'm not really too sure which way to kind of go about it for these types of you know situations, but I will probably tell you, you were getting 4K 60 on the back of both these phones, but you were getting 4K 60 on the front of the iPhone 12, which is very nice, but the iPhone SE 3 is going to be giving you the overall better, you know, the iPhone 12 is going to be giving you the overall better camera in every single way than the iPhone SE 3. And that's just kind of what ends up happening with these types of devices. The iPhone SE 3 is going to be giving you a significantly worse camera in almost every single way. So for starters, you're not getting an ultra-wide camera on that phone. So that in and of itself is kind of a downer. Like I would love to have gotten more, you know, photos or more cameras on this thing. Not the case. On top of that, on the front side, 1080p on the front of that camera, which is like very nice to have. But again, that's kind of like a lackluster thing. And it's not really that nice of a thing going on either, you know, here either. So you're definitely getting, in my personal opinion, an overall better experience in almost every single way on the iPhone 12. That is the device that I look at. And I'm very, very happy and excited every time we get a device like that, because those things look and feel very good and very premium. 
So I'll definitely will tell you in almost every single way yet again, the iPhone 12 is probably going to be giving you the overall better experience in almost every single way than something like the iPhone SE 3. So keep that in mind, but that's kind of how I see this particular phone's, you know, holding up from the camera side. Now, when it comes down to the software side, this is actually a very interesting thing. So this whole entire video, I'm like hyping up the iPhone 12, right? But there is actually a pretty high likelihood the iPhone SE 3 is going to outlast the iPhone 12 in terms of the software. Now, I don't think it's going to be a crazy amount, so it's not going to be like 30,000 years, but it could be like a couple of years. It could be like two years, maybe. And that is going to be a very, very crazy thing going on here. So when it comes down to this, if you're actually wanting the device that's going to be lasting a little bit of a better time, dude, it could honestly be, you could be in a situation where something like the iPhone 12 may not last as long as the iPhone SE 3. And this in and of itself is another very crazy thing. You would not expect or you would not believe that type of phone could actually last like that. And that's just kind of, again, what ends up happening. I look at a phone like the iPhone 12 and I'm very, very you know, happy about it. But the iPhone SE 3 is probably going to be lasting longer than the iPhone 12, which again is pretty crazy for me to even say out loud. And the reason for that is because of the chipsets inside. So both these chipsets are very, very different. So, and they're not very different, but they're slightly different. The iPhone 12 from 2020 is giving you that Apple A14 body chip inside, where the iPhone SE 3 is going to be giving you that Apple A15 body chip inside. So this in and of itself is going to be a very interesting thing going on here as well, because when it comes down to the performance, you're getting basically the same amount of, you know, you're getting a better chipset inside of the iPhone SE 3, which is very, very nice to have. You know, I love having that type of capability, but you are basically getting the same amount of RAM as well. So you would probably think the iPhone SE 3 is going to be the better performing phone. And theoretically, when you're opening up applications and they're open and whatever, that phone is probably going to be the faster one. However, the slight difference here is that with the iPhone 12, you are getting that gesture based design and you're not having to constantly click those home buttons over and over and over again. So when it comes down to that, you are probably going to be in a situation where something like the iPhone 12 is probably going to be giving you a smoother experience in some ways, but the iPhone SE 3 is going to be giving you the faster experience. So that's just kind of how that one goes. I think both these phones are very, very great nonetheless, and I still love both these phones so much. But again, that's just kind of what ends up happening when you get both these devices. You're going to be getting, uh, you know, be put in a situation where the iPhone 12 is probably going to be giving you the overall better experience in a lot of different ways. But the iPhone SE 3 is going to be the faster phone when it comes down to it. So once again, that's kind of how these particular phones hold up from that particular perspective as well. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you, I love both these phones so much. They're both very, very good. They're both very solid. And I definitely do think both these phones have held up so well throughout the last couple of years. But the iPhone 12 is the clear winner here. That is the phone that makes so much more sense to go ahead and buy. But if you are wanting somewhat of a longer lasting phone in some ways, maybe the iPhone 12 might be the better way to go or the iPhone SE 3. But even then, I would probably just recommend going through buying something like the iPhone 12 because that is probably going to be the better phone when it comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.